I'm Greg. I'm Lex. We are the Maids of Honor. You're listening to Stubble, the new growth in music. Word. Hey, this is Jeff with Stubble Music Scene, and I'm down at Club Rodeo, and I'm hanging out with Greg. Lex. Lex, hey, and you guys are with? Maids of Honor. Okay. News flash. Top of the bottom. We are, we've just decided what it is that we do. It's a new movement of music called Geezer Rock. Geezer Rock? Geezer That's Rock. Great. This is going to be a big thing because if you look around, there are a lot of bands, they're over 40, right? And they're kind of embarrassed about it. And they're trying to make themselves look younger, maybe comb over style or whatever. But we, we're owning the Geezer. If you're 40 or over and you're playing in a band, you're part of the Geezer Rock movement. And we're here to, to fucking spearhead and just move this movement, make it, make it a big thing. This is, Geezer rock. We're not old, we're geezers. Proud of it. What are we doing down here today? We are celebrating the uh, lovely short lifespan of the club Laundry Works. Laundry Works, right? Which was legendary. Legendary in its day. What, 20 years ago? 20 some years ago? So so give me a little history. So I didn't grow up here. So tell me a little bit about it. Music, music scene out here was before before all that was kind of was shit. And, but there were a lot of bands that were that were starting to get together, a lot of people making good music, and um, and a few kind of things sort of converged at that point. You had First Strike was a collective of musicians that decided that there was more strength and, and safety and, and kind of like a union, right? Yeah, I mean, it was more more strength in numbers than people trying to do everything on their own. And then there was this little club called Laundry Works that was around, thanks to the, the hard work of Dean Hessler who who ran it. Um, for what about a year and change? And what the laundry works was what like a rib? It joint? was like a rib joint. Yeah, in downtown like a Henry's, San Jose, like a San, Pedro, High Life or San Pedro Square. And this guy Dean had an idea. Let's let's just do some live music. And it just happened. There was a harmonic convergence. It happened to coincide with a lot of bands wanting to do something and make something of themselves and a music scene kind of spawning in of all places San Jose. Oh yeah. And uh, and for a while it was a seven seven nights a week live music club. That um that created all sorts of musicians that went on to do much bigger and better things. I mean, like Greg, for example. So everybody here today has pretty much been involved with uh, or played in some type of band at that time. Pretty much. So you were with, you played with who? The Frontier Fucking Wives. Frontier Fucking Wives, right? And you? The Heroic Fucking Airmen. The Heroic Fucking Airmen. So any of those? <laughs> so the Frontier Wives, they are playing today. The Frontier Fucking Wives. Frontier Wives are playing. Yeah, um, we're playing. I think around like seven tonight, and the maids are playing around nine o'clock tonight. It's like a eight band bill tonight a bunch of people I mean you've got a combination of people here that have kept playing and some people that actually haven't picked up an instrument in like 20 years and decided shit let's let's do it for this show it's been pretty kick-ass so far I've seen a couple I bands say, and... I'm watching Kuch Mahar right now I'm not right now but I was yeah. uh, but they're having so much fun huh? and it's like arrested development you know they're all of a sudden they're little kids again you know and they're well, just up there having so much fun I'm playing. just wondering did they are they playing now because they sound tight they sound great you almost want to book, they, them, book them now totally and, and I've, I've heard they're actually gonna start playing shows now and they they haven't played shows in 20 years they got together they got like eight practices together practiced way more than any of us did <laughs> and got it together because it sounds great but it I think it totally just gassed them enough and rejuvenated their their interest and their excitement in it that they're gonna keep doing it so I mean, it's a good thing I, I was at your show at the end of the show, you handed this guitar out, and I strummed it, you know, and I was oh, like, man, yeah. this is the coolest thing I've ever right, done. I'm, I'm going to have to break then, this up. I'm going to have to break this and up. And then you tried to hand me the guitar, and I said, no. And then you handed it to me, and I took it, and I was like, wow. And it was that defining moment that I was going to pick up a guitar and learn how to play a guitar. And then somebody, How's it going? somebody came and took it from me. Huh. So the question i got to ask you is, did you, mean hey, to, right now. did you mean to give me that guitar? Yes, I did. I did. I need and to pick that up I today. Wanted you to, uh, <laughs> I really do. I really wanted you to... to like get a hold of your life and start playing guitar instead of this. It was an intervention. I, it was a musical intervention. I am not shitting you, dude. I was like, I was like, this is fucking crazy. And then I went. I turned to my buddy. I'm like, huh. I was like, dude, just give me a guitar. I'm thinking, I get an autograph and I'll just give it away. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna learn how to play. I've got all these big ideas. And then someone <laughs> said she was married to you, dude. I, I think it might think have so. been your wife. She's like, what is he doing? He's drunk again. He's giving away his. He didn't shit. mean it. So I go, yes, he meant it. <laughs>